What is going on guys? It is time to show you the pens we managed to pick up on our pen venture to the Schaefer Pen Museum down in Fort Madison, Iowa. We have some beautiful writing instruments. Mostly Schaefer's, a few Parker's, some Estabrooks, and more. Plus, we got tons of cool swag at the museum. And if you want to see our trip to the museum, make sure to click the link below or stick around to the end and we'll have a link up at the end of the video. But we stopped at all sorts of places, antique stores, second-hand shops, flea markets, and we got quite a bit of pens while we're down in Iowa. So, if you like Schaefer's, you like fountain pens, ballpoints, or whatever, you're here, you must like writing instruments, so stick around and see what we got. First up, we're going to start off with the swag we picked up at the Schaefer Pen Museum. And Lily picked out this shirt, hot pink, and it has the Schaefer Pen Museum logo on the breast. And y'all already seen the cap that I picked out for myself. Then we got some postcards. Here's one with a girl giving her father or brother a Schaefer pen before he goes off to service. Here's the Schaefer plane, an early advertisement. Santa serving, uh, looks like a woman up on a platter. A little racy. This one is Craig, Craig Schaefer. And this is W.A. Schaefer. And this one here is the Schaefer yacht on the Mississippi River. Pretty cool postcards. Spread those out so you can get a little better look. Let me know which postcard is your favorite in this bunch. But let me go ahead and get these out of the way and we'll show you the pens. Because I know you guys would probably rather see the pens than the, the memorabilia. And we also got these Schaefer Pen Museum nail files. But we won't be using them for that. They're for filing nibs and whatnot. All right. First, we'll start off with all the Schaefer no nonsense pens we got. We got a good amount of no nonsense pens, and some of them are really cool. A lot of unique patterns that I haven't seen before. And let's get to it. Here we have a panda. Next up, we have a Norman Rockwell Schaefer. I knew that he did a lot with Parker, but I guess he collaborated with Schaefer as well. And this shows an old man and his wife on a rocking chair. Next up is probably one of my favorite balances in the lot. It says, Fort Madison, Iowa, the Penn City. And it shows the original fort here, and it has some cool whales on the cap. And actually, this one was made in 1982. Next up is another Norman Rockwell Schaefer No Nonsense. And on this one, it shows a father and his son and their dog out fishing. Now, that's a cool one. I'll probably be keeping these Norman Rockwell ones. And I think they'll make some really nice pictures with my Parker Pen. Norman Rockwell plates so keep your eye out for that if you want to see how they turn out and here is another Norman Rockwell one and this one it's a guy and a girl out oh, milking Bessie milking the cow yeah I really like those Norman Rockwell ones quite a bit then we have I love you and I'm not, I don't collect a lot of the no-nonsense pens, so a lot of these are going to be going on to our eBay page, so make sure to keep your eyes out. Here we have one with the Canadian flag on it, and the Canadian maple leaf on the top. Cool pen. And then we have one with music notes. 
Most of these no-nonsense in this lot are going to be from the 80s. And I did not see any fountain pens, and they're all the ballpoints. Here we have one in blue. No design, but it's a nice color. And here we have one in red. It's 1984, perfect attendance. And here we have one that says, I love Fort Madison, Iowa, which is true. I, I enjoyed visiting that town quite a bit, and I'm looking forward to my next visit. And that is it for the no-nonsense. <coughs> Before we go into more Schaefer's, I do have to show you two of my favorite pens in this lot that I got. We actually got these on the way to Fort Madison. Stopped at a little antique shop on the way and struck a little bit of gold. First up we have the black Lucky Curve fountain pen with a ring top and a big old hefty jeweler's band. Let's unscrew that. Great looking fountain pen. And this, this could be my favorite. It is up at the top of the list. There's only one other pen. Okay, maybe a couple other pens that are up there with it. But you guys know I'm a Parker guy. And this is a pretty amazing pen. A big old vacuumatic, double jeweled, and both the jewels are striped. But it is missing a ring around the bottom. So that's a little bit of bummer. And it has a dual fold nib in it. So I think I don't think that's the original nib with it. But a great pen. A great buy. I only paid. I'm not going to tell you I paid. I got it for a real good price. But it, that is one of my favorite pens in this haul. I'll go ahead and cap that bad boy up. So I don't knock it over and ding the nib. Alright. Next. We got two ballpoints at a shop next door to the museum. It was called Dodd Printing. And they had some new old stock shafers there. And, and these we picked up. We love the color. And you may remember these pens from an earlier Schaefer haul we had. But we didn't know what they were. Now we know. And they're the, the Schaefer Fashionable Series. Great looking pens. These we will be keeping and adding to our personal collection because we really liked those a lot. Let me know what you think. Which color do you like better? Do you like the, the mustard yellow or the lilac purple here? And these came with a nice little sleeve to store the pens in. But I don't know if I'll be keeping the, the sleeves with them or just putting them in the case with the other pens. Next up, we got this. We also got this next door to the museum at Dodd's. And nice little, I believe it's a script, ladies' script pen. But this is a ballpoint version of it. Great condition. And we will be keeping this in our collection as well. And I might have the names wrong. I had to go back and watch my museum video once or twice, refresh on it all. But I learned so much while we're at the museum, and it's going to help me ID so many more Schaefer pens. But yeah, I really like that one a lot. Next is another pen we picked up at the same antique shop as we got the two Parkers at. We got an Estherbrook fountain pen. Nice marbled gray. And I believe this is the Estherbrook J. I could be wrong, but the number on the nib is 1555. And at the same place, we got this Estherbrook. We also got this Estherbrook desk base with this pen in it. 
the pen does not belong in it but I've been picking up a lot of these Estabrook dust bases lately and I really liked this color of this one here alright next is the Duro Light mechanical pencil you can pick that up at the same antique store as these and that was in Illinois on the way to Fort Madison but a great looking red mechanical pencil it says Standard Oil Company Asphalt Products on it and it's really cool and so I really like that one a lot it's got a great design I love the clip and I'll be keeping that in my collection And there's a few other pens that I'm not going to be showing you in this video that we picked up. I don't really think they made the cut. They're not video worthy. But these are the best ones of the lot. And these ones probably didn't necessarily need to make the cut. But I put them in here anyways because I've been doing a lot with right point. And so I'll be putting these on probably as a lot. But here is a little handful of right point pens. Nothing special, but I figured I'd show you them since they're in the box here next to me. Here's another beautiful Schaefer pen. Probably one of my favorites in the haul is Sterling Silver. It features grapes and vines up and down the barrel. It's a click clip, and I really like this one a lot. I will be keeping this one in my collection. But I really dig it. It needs a little buff. If I can't get it cleaned up nice, I might let it go, but yeah, I like that bad boy a lot. I've been really digging these click clips here. As you can see, there's two of them that I'll be keeping. Next up is a Funk G Hybrids Scripto Mechanical Pencil. And I just thought that name was just super funny. Funk G's, so I had to keep that bad boy. Next, the Schaefer 101 Ballpoint. It's either the 101 or the 100. It's been a while since my last haul when I first found out what they were called. But nothing really fancy there. But it's a Schaefer and I picked it up so I had to show you. Here is another Schaefer. And this one here is actually like a, a marker, which I don't think I've seen those before. And I do not know the model name. And here is another one of those Schaefer markers. And one more. I'll move those up a little closer so you can view them a little better. Yeah, so I've never seen the Schaefer markers before. If you know what they're called, please let me know. And here is another one of those Schaefer 100s or 101s, whatever, which one it is, I'll have to refresh. A lot of times it takes me, you know, five, six times of hearing a model name before I remember. So, when I know it, you guys will know it for sure, because you guys will be able to tell when I finally have it down. This big old Schaefer ballpoint. I know this one's in the, in the video of the Schaefer Museum because I remember just seeing this yesterday as I was editing but I'm drawing a blank here we have a Schaefer Targa gold plated I think this may be an, an imperial finish but I'm not a hundred percent, or maybe even a malarious, which is like a thousand lines. But real cool looking ballpoint pen, mechanical pencil on that one, and it works. But I like that a lot. I really dig the Targos, and I love all the different finishes that they have. And I'm debating on starting to collect them. But there, I did get one Targo in this lot that I'm definitely going to be keeping. But I'm going to save that one, and then the the Schaefer Grail pen till the end. Stainless steel Schaefer mechanical pencil. 
works wonderfully. Another mechanical pencil. You guys know I'm not the most knowledgeable about Schaefer's, but I'm still learning. I learned a lot when I've I learned a lot from visiting the museum and they made some amazing pens and tons of different variations. Here's another pencil that I got down the street from a jewelry shop. And it's not Schaefer, but it's a lovely mechanical pencil and it is silver, not sterling silver, but it is marked 830 on the clip. But it's a great looking mechanical pencil and I'll probably be keeping this in my collection as well. Little ballpoint pen. Sticking. I always kind of liked these ones here. I'm not sure the model, but I love how it goes from a circle, a cylindrical barrel, and kind of tapers off to a, a rectangle. Which I always thought that was kind of neat. Stop it from rolling off your table. Next up, a magnificent looking clip click. And this one has a nice gold. This one is 130th 12 carat rolled gold plating. And this also has the same grapes and vines as the sterling silver version. So those two will be going together. And we have, we actually got a couple of those. Here's another one. One more. And some of them have a little wear. This one clips messed up. But overall, most of them work. That one also has a messed up clip. So like those ones I'll be selling. I don't know if I'm going to be repairing them or not. Here's another Targa. Another clip, click, click, clip. <laughs> and some of these ones, I, I just call them the click, clip. But I'm, I don't think that's really the model name. Um, if you know, you know what to do. But I really like that finish on that one a lot. And then we have an ever sharp mechanical pencil, a little ring top. Kind of like what Joan wears in the TV series Mad Men on Netflix. Then we have this beautiful looking mechanical pencil. I like this one a lot. I really like that pattern on there. So I'll be keeping that bad boy. Alright, we're down to the last two pens in this Schaefer haul. I'm going to show you my second favorite and then the, my all-time favorite. Even though the all-time favorite is a little beat up and a little dirty, um, it's an amazing pen. I'm actually even thinking about getting it restored. So if you know anybody that could restore this at a reasonable rate, let me know because this may be the pen to do it. But first... We have this Schaefer right here, and it is another Targa, and this Targa is sterling silver. So as you, if you've been counting, we got three sterling silver pens while we're visiting Fort Madison, Iowa. This one I'll be keeping is just a great looking pen. I think all these Targas actually look real nice together. Two gold plated ones and a sterling silver one. All right, now for the pen you've all been waiting for since I mentioned it about a minute ago <laughs> is the Schaefer Balance Demonstrator. 
big old jewelers band, transparent barrel and cap, gold nib, 14 karat gold nib, there's a gold filling mechanism, but it's got a little crack right here, so I don't, well, I need someone to fill that out, and it needs a bit, a really good cleaning, and this, I haven't tinkered with it too much yet, needs to go back in. As you can see, there's some ink that's stuck inside the cap here, and some ink staining. So I'm hoping that gets cleared out because this is a great looking pen. I looked it up on eBay. They're quite valuable. Not a lot coming to market. But I really like this. It's my first ever Schaefer Demonstrator. And it is a great pen in my opinion. Let me know if you have any Schaefer Demonstrators in your collection. Well, that's all she wrote for the haul from Fort Madison, Iowa and surrounding areas. My favorite pens got to be the Sterling Silvers right here. I'll recap real quick. The Sterling Silver pens. The Targa. The Click Clip. And this random no brand. Or no hallmarks that indicate what brand it is. And then I really like these ones a lot. Some real nice filigrees here. And my favorite non Schaefer's could even be one of the top favorite. Actually, my two top favorites got to be the Vacuumatic Double Jewel along with the Schaefer Demonstrator. Those are my tops for sure. But then I also really like this Lucky Curve. Let me know what your favorite pen was in this haul, and if you think I did good. Uh, a lot of these I'll be listing for sale, but some I'm going to be keeping. But no, either way, it was a wonderful time. I loved the pen venture. I loved meeting everybody out in Fort Madison, Iowa. Everyone was super nice, and I can't wait to visit the pen city again. Till next time, this is Big Bad Brad from AB Rustic Relics. Y'all stay safe out there. Ciao, Maine.